So, like a lot of you, <laughs> earlier today, I heard Dream's new song, Mask. And I liked it, I liked it a lot. I also really liked this official music video, especially the text effects. This is what I'm talking about. That's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. This immediately caught my attention. If you see, there's a few different things going on. Each individual letter both had this little texture wiggle on the outside, but then the letters were independently just sort of shuffling around. It caught my attention and I knew that instantly I needed to make a tutorial to show you all how to achieve this effect for free in DaVinci Resolve. Again, this is from the official lyric video for Mask. And this is what I came up with. Is. That's what the point of the mask is. And I like it a lot. So stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how I created this effect. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving away a preset to all of you that will be drag and drop, where you can drag this right on your timeline and instantly have this effect and customize it however you want. Cool? Cool. We're here in DaVinci Resolve and we are going to start creating our effect by just coming over to the effects library once we have a timeline open effects library, titles, and we're gonna grab this text plus effect, drag it right to our timeline, and then we can open our inspector over here, and then you have these general text controls. And you can type whatever you want in here. And the font I'm going to be using in this video, and which will be the default in my free preset, is this Loved by the King font. This is a free Google font. A link to this will be in the description. I'm gonna click that, and then I'm going to click this icon up here to load this text plus node into the Fusion page. Now the Fusion page can absolutely be intimidating. I have several other videos that are an intro to the Fusion page, and those might be a great place to start if you're a little intimidated, but if you follow along with this video step by step, you should be able to create this effect we're going after. But on a bare bones level, everything that we build will be built down here in our node tree. We have this node that represents that text plus effect we dragged on, and then whatever we do to it after that will end in this media out, and that will send it back to the edit page. Great, so if you select this template node, you have those same text controls, so I'm just going to scale this up, increase the tracking a little bit, because I know that will be useful in another step or two, and the first thing we're going to create is just that single letter shuffle around that we saw in our final effect. And to do that, with our template open in the inspector, I'm going to right click inside this text box here and go to follower. And then that will enable this modifiers panel up here, and if you click that, we have new controls here. Now the follower is really useful for transitions, but we're gonna be doing something pretty exciting with it here. On this first page, we're just going to pull up this delay and change the order from left to right to completely random. Then we'll jump over to shading. I came back and pulled down this delay a little bit, but then over in shading, under position, if you set a keyframe, it will create a new path, but you can jump right back to follower. If I shuffle ahead just a few frames and pull up this Y, you'll see that after a little delay, these letters will randomly, because we set that earlier control to random, will execute that movement that we keyframed here on offset. So it just moves up. But this is just a linear motion, right? This is all of the letters doing the same animation. But what we can do is if I get rid of these keyframes, I can right click on offset and go to modify with perturb. Now this is a super useful modifier, especially if you want anything shaking, anything wiggling. I've done several videos about these and my last free preset is actually this tool repackaged. So you can make absolutely anything shake natively on the edit page. That's super cool, but that's also another video. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we are going to dial down this X and Y scale. And I'm gonna set these to just 0.0 to five on both the X and Y. And then if we just scrub, we'll see that, oh, all of these letters are now moving around. It looks like they are moving really close together. And that is because of this delay. If we crank up this delay and we go back to our perturb and maybe pull up the wobble just a little bit, then you'll see it looks like these are all moving independently. Even though all of these letters will eventually follow the same path, because of that delay, it looks like they're just wiggling on their own. 
and that in itself could be this entire effect but we're gonna go the extra mile and do some more really cool work but if this works for you awesome you can run with this you can create some great looks just with this but next what we are going to work on is that cool sort of textured outline wiggle and to do that the first thing we are going to do is grab the filter node I pulled up this search bar for effects here by pressing shift space and then you can search for whatever you want we want filter we'll click add and I'm going to grab the output of this template our text and drag that into the filter node here and you can preview this in either viewer by pressing the one or the two keys here but I want to change this filter type to Sobble and there you'll see now we get a really cool outline and I'm actually going to pipe that into an erode and dilate tool and this will allow us to crank up the amount so now we get this outer edge that we will then combine later with this center footage and this will allow us to add some really cool texture and that little wobble on the outside that we saw and liked and to do that coming out of this erode and dilate we are going to create a displace node and this displace node is really powerful by default nothing will change but that's because we need to click this button over here to create a fast noise node. And if we preview this on viewer one, you'll see that by default, it gives us the sort of foggy texture. But if you play with these settings, if you bring down scale and pull up detail, you see you have this really natural sort of foggy look. And this is actually based off of fractal noise. This is math, it's pretty wild. But what we want is to pull up contrast, pull down brightness, and we're gonna crank up scale. We just want this really sort of sporadic look. We might pull up contrast a little more. And then we are going to pull up the seethe rate. And now if we scrub our timeline, you'll see that this is just sort of morphing around completely on its own. I think we want even a little more hectic than that. That's super cool. And you'll see now here we have this displace and those letters are just doing their thing over there. And we're gonna mess with some settings here in displace first. Instead of radial, we're gonna change this to X and Y. And we're just going to barely nudge all four of these settings. I'm gonna change uh, this X and Y channel to alpha as well, but nudge these offset and refraction just a hair. That should give us what we want. And then we're going to plug in this fast noise to this displace. And once I do that, I'm taking it into this green input here. And you see instantly, this look changed a little bit. And now if we preview this displace, you'll see that the individual edges are sort of wobbling around as well. And you're, you're getting a pretty cool look here. And this is actually pulling information from this fast noise. If I went back and played with this scale, it would actually of change the way it wobbles here. You see when I pulled down the scale, so the individual movements are larger in frame, the bigger chunks of our letter are sort of warping around at one time, but if you crank this up, it becomes a little more localized, which I like. And 20 is the default end of this scale, but you could manually enter in whatever number you want to really change this, this fine texture as well. I think I might like something, something a little over 20. And then if we actually take the output of this displace, drag it to connect it to the output of our first template node, it will create a merge down here. And when you bring those back together, you'll see that fills in those gaps. And we are almost there. This is looking really good. You have that outer texture, you have the letters wobbling around. But the one thing that I really liked in Dreams video that we don't quite have here is that while the letters continuously float around, the outer texture is a bit more choppy in a sort of cool cartoony style. Let's check that out. You'll see it sort of like ticks back and forth, like tick, 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 tick. It's not quite as smooth, that's the point. So this is very complicated, but it's going to be very cool. Coming out of this fast noise, we are going to create a time stretcher node. Now, I don't fully understand what I am about to do, but I learned this on Twitter and it's super cool. So I'll just walk you through it. In our time stretcher, I'm going to right click on source time and we're gonna come down to expression. And then I'm going to type in here, floor, open parentheses, time, divided by five, close parentheses, times five. Okay, so what this is doing, this is going to create a choppy motion. Let me show you. I have this fast noise pulled up in viewer one, and I'm gonna pull up the time stretcher in viewer two. Now, if I scrub, watch what happens. Our left viewer 
is continuously moving, but the right viewer only updates every fifth frame. And this is exactly what I want. And then that is what is going into the displace node. So now if we preview that displace, you'll see that these letters are floating around, but that outer texture only updates every five frames. So it just feels a little choppier, a little more cartoonier. And then when we preview our final effect, it's there as well. Super, super cool. And of course, this is node-based, so it is dynamic. You can come back at any time, come into templates and change this text to whatever you want. It's super cool. And then because we have this going back into that media out, we can jump right back to the edit page and our effect is good to go. It will likely have this little red bar over it, which will turn into this blue bar as it is done caching. And then once that's blue, you should be able to play back smoothly and you have this really rad text effect. That's super awesome. But now I wanna show you how I made this all into a free preset that you can download right now. I'm gonna jump back into the Fusion page and then I'm going to pull up this folder where I have this Dream Text DRFX. If you follow the link in the description, that will send you to my Buy Me A Coffee page where this is hosted as a free extra. You can pay what you want or nothing, totally cool, and that will let you download this file. Now, in the newest version of DaVinci Resolve 17.2, it added this functionality. So if you don't have 17.2, I do highly recommend upgrading. This is just one of the updates and, and there's some other stuff that's pretty cool. But if you don't have that update, there are some traditional ways to install this. This is actually a zip file that's just renamed. So you could change this suffix to just .zip and open it up normally. And then I have some other videos just about installing effects normally. But I do recommend being on Resolve 17.2. And if you are, then all you have to do is take this file, drag it with the Fusion page open into your node viewer down here, let go. It'll give you this prompt, do you want to install it? You click install. And then if you come in your effects library, you open up templates, edit, titles. If you scroll down, you should see dream text. Now, because this is new functionality currently, you need to restart resolve to get this on the edit page. So I'm gonna do that real quick right now. So I have restarted, I'm here back on the edit page. And if I make sure my effects library is open, come down to titles, scroll down. Here I have the dream text effect. I can drag that right onto the timeline. Gives you a little message, keep on smiling. That's nice. And again, you can change this to whatever you want. <laughs> and you have custom controls for the size, the font, if you wanna change that. Again, this does use this Google font, which you can grab for free, link in the description. If you don't download this font first, this effect will likely show up black. Just bump this font to whatever you wanna use and you should be good to go. You have tracking if you want and then this erode dilate if you want the outside to be a little thinner or thicker or whatever you want and then a custom position control as well. So you can just drop this right onto your timeline, let it cache if you want and boom, you've got an awesome text effect that you can use in, in whatever you want. I was super inspired when I saw Dream's video today. So I hope this will inspire you to go out and make something awesome too. And if you wanna learn how to make more cool things like this text effect in DaVinci Resolve, that's what this channel is all about. So if you're interested, check out another video, you might find something you like. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.